Hey guys, so we've been slacking on the garden lately, not because we wanted to, but because it's been taking a bit longer to get everything ready in the garden. I don't think our rabbits seem to like this guy way more than their mama. The other day while Jay was at work, he ran across these massive green onions and he decided to pick all of them and bring them home. I decided to make onion powder out of these. So we chopped them up, dehydrated them, and voila. So today and this past weekend, we have been hustling to get things done. The rain has not been working with us. It was supposed to be sunny for the majority of this weekend and um, it ended up raining one of the entire days. So we didn't get a whole lot done. We made some raised beds, got them filled uh, with some of the dirt that Jay was able to scrape up off of the sides of the road. Our property years ago was all strawberry fields. Um, so the dirt is really nice actually. We weren't originally going to till, but the weeds just got way out of hand. We came out and handpicked weeds, me and the girls, just a week ago and now the garden is covered in weeds again and now Jay is in the garden with the tractor tilling all of the weeds under so that way we can finally get all of our plants in the ground. We have a ton of plants ready to sell for those of you that are local and want to come stop by to pick some up you're welcome to send us a message and let us know and the rest of the stuff's going in the ground. He said he broke the fence. I don't know where he broke it. We opened up the very back so that he could actually bring the tractor through and till up the ground. But look how deep, dark, lush this soil is, guys. Ugh. That's like gold right there for any of you that garden or any of you that are wanting to garden. This color is what you're looking for. Got a meal for the ladies right there. That's dinner. Look at that. Goldie says yes. Got us uh, some weeds out of the garden. We're gonna go feed it to the goaties. Have to drop it down. Now let them have it. Goodness gracious. They love the blackberry bush. I can't get his mouth. He's sliding around. I got your pole. Thank you. I can't believe we're 
Ooh, man, those are some sharp teeth in there. You see them? Yeah. Hey, look at how shiny they are. It's like those colors. What did I say? Uh, I just got done telling Jay I don't think I'll ever catch a fish down here. And uh, the next cast, look what I got. <laughs> Well, we decided since we had a little bit of a break in the rain and we were tired of working, we decided to come down and see if we could catch some fish. Catching anything? You did. I know. Isn't that exciting? You didn't even know you had anything. I didn't. I thought that I was stuck on a log, but I was not stuck on a log. I was stuck on a fish. So, so far I've gotten uno fisho. <laughs> Uno fisho. Uno fisho. Huh. No. Let me get your. Figured I better try out my luck in your spot, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe you'll catch time, something. Maybe we'll have two fish for the day. Yeah, two fish. He caught the log that I thought I caught. Coming to you, Jalen. Right there. It's stuck on the end of the log. A good catch of the day. Are you filming me? <laughs> this is the wrong spot you're supposed to film. Hmm. <laughs> you don't see this. This is what Jay's doing. I'm just trying to get free. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, God. Got it. You broke my lure. No. Yeah. Oh, maybe I did. You broke my lure. I did a little. It'll be okay. Good luck. Today I'm going to make homemade potato soup. We're going to start with some chopped onions and celery, sauteing in some oil, and then we're going to add in a little bit of salt and some pepper and some minced garlic. Then we're going to add in a little bit of parsley. Adding your seasonings before helps give it extra flavor. Then toss in your potato chunks and some broth and let it boil till the potatoes are soft. Then add in milk with a little bit of flour and keep stirring so it doesn't burn. And then add in your cheese, whichever kind you like. It can be sharp cheddar or Velveeta. And then serve it up and enjoy. This mama is doing real good with milking and feeding these little ones. We have been milking for about a week now, and let me tell you, <laughs> my hands are crazy sore. Nobody explained how sore my hands were going to be when it came to milking. So if you plan on ever milking a goat, be prepared. Your hands will be very, very sore. And when they're um, right at the beginning of milking every morning, if their udder is like super, super full, it's really hard to actually get the milk out in the beginning. Uh, once you release some of that milk, it gets easier to, to milk them. But that is our experience of being new milkers. Whew, sore hands. I've been trying to train the girls into milking some too, but as of right now, Sally is still, um, still trying to get used to being milked every day. She still kicks and, um, we've lost about five buckets of milk so far. <laughs> We're getting there though.